Hi, I'm Claire Melantine. I'm a child therapist and registered play therapist supervisor. Today we're going to be demonstrating a technique, my volcano inside my tummy. And this is my little cousin, Allie, and she's going to be helping me today. So, Allie, have you ever gotten super duper mad? What happens when you get mad? A blackish greenish bluish inside mm -hmm. now if you are a normal kid sometimes you might yell or hit or have a temper tantrum do you ever have those things when you get super duper mad never oh my gosh you're so lucky do you know that even grown-ups sometimes have temper tantrums when they get mad mm -hmm. have you ever seen one of your brothers or sisters have a temper tantrum mm -hmm. what does it look like when they do it fight they fight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what do they do when they fight? Mm -hmm. Do they hit each other or yell? Yeah. They yell at each other? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when people yell around you, it doesn't feel very good, huh? Well, I'm thinking today, we have our crayons here, and let's draw what this feels like inside, okay? So, Sometimes when kids feel mad, they talk about having a volcano inside. Mm -hmm. Do you know what a volcano is? Mm -hmm. What is a volcano? Um, it um, explodes the lava out. Yes, it explodes the lava out, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes when we feel mad, we kind of feel like that happens inside. Like mm -hmm. uh, it builds and builds and builds and then we explode. Mm -hmm. Like I'm sure you've never seen your mom do that, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to draw, I'm really good at drawing stick figures and that is how good I am of an artist. So the cool thing about this technique is you don't have to be an amazing artist and you can just have your stick figure just like this. And you can draw you however you want to. Okay. Okay. And we're going to draw volcanoes inside. Okay and what it feels like. Get myself crazy. All right. So my volcano, when I start feeling really mad, I feel like my volcano starts in my tummy. The other kids say it starts in their head. Where do you think your volcano starts? Hmm. Where do you feel the most mad? Uh, uh, legs. In your legs? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So your volcano starts in your legs. And sometimes when we have a volcano happening inside, our heart starts beating really fast. We might start clenching our jaw or clenching our hands together. And sometimes our voice either gets really loud or some people get super quiet when they get mad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so when we're mad, it has a whole different, a, a big chain reaction happening in our body. Like this one? Yes. I like that one. I can see all that hot lava coming out. I wanted to make it the blackish. Yeah, because you said you felt blackish and brownish inside. You did a good job. Should we show our pictures of what our volcanoes look like? <laughs> okay, should we show them? So these are our angry volcanoes inside. And when you're using this with your client in session, what you're also going to be talking about is where they feel this in their body and then have each color represent a different feeling that goes along in their volcano. Because what we know is that we're never just mad, right? But it's a whole series of different emotions and kind of that roller coaster. And it can kind of help your client start to identify what emotions go into their explosions when they happen. 
So Allie, thank you so much.